Welcome back everyone to Learning Medicine. Today we're in statics and we're going to do problem 690, okay? The pipe cutter is clamped around the pipe P. If the wheel at A exerts a normal force of FA equals to 80 newtons on the pipe, determine the normal forces of the wheels B and C of the pipe. Also, compute the pin reaction on the wheel at C. The three wheels each have a radius of 7 millimeters and the pipe has an outer radius of 10 millimeters. Okay? So we're asked to find what these normals are with respect to our pipe. And we're also given this force FF, FA that is um, applied with wheel A. So let's just start by drawing a free body diagram as always. So we're going to do a free body diagram at, of our pipe P. So our pipe okay now let's draw our pipe and it has a shape similar like this now we're going to replace these three guys these three wheels for normal force so we're going to have a normal force coming from this side we're going to call it normal C. We got a normal force coming from here that we're going to call it MB. And we also have the normal that it's given to us equal to 80 newtons. So let's write that as 80 newtons. Okay? Now, what we need is the direction of these normals, these two normals, okay? So as we can see, we have 10 millimeters here going up. So we're gonna have a triangle going like this, where this point in here, it's my point P, or the center of my pipe C. Over here will be my point C, and here will be just the direction um, horizontal from point P, okay? Now, we're given that this is equal to 10 millimeters and we want to find this angle that let's call it theta, okay? So, we're also given that the outer radius of this pipe P is 10 and the radius of this uh, will at C it's equal to 7. Therefore the addition of these two will be equal to 17 millimeters Now if we want to find theta what we can do is since we know the opposite and the hypotenuse What we can do is that we're going to apply the inverse sign Of the opposite which is 10 divided by the hypotenuse which is 17 therefore my angle theta will be equal to, so we're going to plug this into the calculator and will give me an angle of 36.03 degrees. Okay? So now that we know the angle with respect to the horizontal, so theta and theta here. Why am I putting theta on MB? It's because we are also given 10 millimeters and this guy has the same radius and same radius for my wheel B, okay? So we'll have the same angle. Now, since we have the same angle, we have our free body diagram. You guys know what's coming up next, right? So we're going to do sumatorial forces. Let's just start with the sumatorial forces in the Y, assuming that going up is positive. And what do we have? Well. We'll have negative NCY that is going down, so negative NCY, and we want the Y component, therefore we want sine of theta. And then the other part that is contributing to my Y is MB, but it's going up, so we'll have positive MB multiplied by the sine of theta because it's also the Y component of this guy, and all this should be equal to zero. Since both of these angles are the same, theta and theta, we can cancel them out. So let's cancel these two guys out. So we cancel and cancel. And we'll find out that MB is equal to NC. Okay. 
We will see that because this guy will pass to the other side as positive. Next thing we have to do is that we're going to do the sumatorial forces in the x direction. Assuming I'm going to the right is positive. What do we have? Well, we got positive 80 newtons. So then we have negative nc and negative ny. So we got a negative nc multiplied by the cosine of theta because it's the x component. Same thing happens with mb. Okay, and all this should be equal to zero. We got no more forces in here. So now that we're here and that we stated that mb is equal to nc, we can combine these two guys into one single one. So we can replace mb for another nc. And if we solve for that, we'll get 80 will be equal to 2 times nc times the cosine of theta. And if we want to know the value of nc, what do we have? Well, we'll have nc will be equal to 80 divided by 2 times the cosine of my angle theta. Let's not forget that theta is equal to 36.03. We're going to plug this into the calculator. And we will get a value of 49.46 newtons. Okay? So, this is my final answer. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys liked the video, please push the like button, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.